Happy Thanksgiving, everyone. The music upstairs is coming from my daughter. She is jamming while she is cooking. I finished up the three things that I was making. I don't do a whole lot for Thanksgiving. I just made some turkey wings, some collard greens, and mac and cheese. I'm going to make some stuffing, double eggs, and my daughter is making um, sweet potatoes. Really, really simple. So, this is what my hallway is looking like. I have been enjoying sharing this process with you guys. I hope you have been enjoying it. So, this is some real life behind the scene and of, of an event stylist. This is what my stuff looks like. Yeah, yeah. This is what this is what is going on. We are all packed and ready to go. I'm super excited. I'm just going to go upstairs and finalize my checklist. Your girl butt was hurt and I had to get a pillow. I was making sure to stay hydrated. All of this will be going with me. This right here, I shared this before. This is my handy dandy bag. As you can see, she is busting open. I'm going to get me a duffel bag to put it in and maybe two. So while me and my team are setting up, they can have theirs to run to and I can have mine to run to. So we're all just not digging in the bag. <clears throat> and I like to transport my things in these reusable bags. They hold so much. I have been using these bags over and over and over again. They are the best. They're 99 cents. In the past, I would use totes and it was just too heavy. You can pack it like this, pack up 20, 30 of them, load them up and you're good to go. And as you can see, I have some right here in those good old handy dandy Ikea bags. They do the job. So I finished blowing up the Mylar balloons this morning. <clears throat> these are um, balloon bags. You can get these off of Amazon. I forgot how much they were, but I use those just to transport um, the Mylar balloons. See the star ones. And look how cute the olives are. Super, super cute. The olives, those are going to be fillers. And this is the end result to all of those balloons that I had to blow up. They are all on the garland. As you can see, pushed all the way back, all the way back. So, of course, I'm getting the largest U-Haul, which I believe is like 26, the largest one. I'm going to put um, a contractor, um, <clears throat> the big, big contractor blankets on the bottom so nothing shifts. And I'm going to show you guys how I load up the U-Haul. I'm just going to put them nice and neatly towards the back. They don't need to be in bags, only these because... We don't want them to fly. So yes, as you can see, balloons everywhere, everywhere. This is such an epic moment. They are all on garland and assembled and ready to go. Ready to go. Look how pretty that one is. Look how pretty. Those are the larger balloons. And I have a video coming up about that. So all that's going to, so yeah. So after tomorrow, my husband will finally have his man cave back. He is such the best, you guys, when I say, but like I told you, God is going to bless me with my own space. I am claiming it. I am believing in it. I am working hard towards my goal. So my husband will not have to go through this. Downstairs will be my event planning space and upstairs will be my interior decor space because if you don't know I also do interior decorating as well and I'm going to start sharing some of my work with that on here so yeah this is it let's go back let's go back back it up back it up back it up I appreciate once again guys the love and support okay you guys are awesome y'all keep liking my content and I appreciate you guys because you know your girl will come on here and film just about anything it's about the content about the content look how pretty these colors are gorgeous 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 oh and don't forget you gotta have your good old dandy step ladder she has been through it look we got painters tape on there yeah and i have two of those which i'm gonna bring and then i need to get me one um that um is like the three tier but yeah we are all good to go balloon blowers on that three easel 
and another thing too, how I do my bags. So an easy way to do them because you learn as you grow. You learn as you grow. You had to use your time wisely when you were setting up. So what I like to do, so this bag right here is for the lounge area. So everything we need for the lounge area is in this bag. And then I have another bag so that when we go in the venue, we'll go to the lounge area. This right here is some for the food area and the dessert table. So we know to take that there. This also is the lounge area. So it just makes it a lot easier when you are setting up at the venue. This is the dessert table. As you can see, I have these labeled candles are already in them because time is of essence when you're at these halls. This is my linen bag and I do have some other linen upstairs. And I also like to bring extra linen just in case and extra decor. Just a little piece, it's not too much, but just in case you need those additional fillers. All right, you guys, as always, stay blessed, stay prayed up, and most importantly, remain faithful. It's your girl, DW. Have a happy and safe Thanksgiving, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.